Sometimes you can feel a vibration in Orkney. A low rumble. It takes over the whole island. And every part of your body. But there is only so much height any wave can sustain before it comes crashing down. Given the, the fact that you both have a bit of distance from the film now, has anything come into focus for each of you that you didn't realise at the time that you were making it? I think for me, um, letting go of what I think the process of making a film should be was really important. Um, Nora, our director, comes from a documentary filmmaking background. And so she had a very particular way of working where it was very much like piece by piece and letting the project evolve as we moved forward with it and as more people joined the creative team. And I think because I'd never produced anything before and I hadn't been involved when nobody knows what's going on and nobody knows what it's going to be yet, um, initially that sort of scared me. And now I feel like after working with her and then working with Steve McQueen soon afterwards, who kind of works in a similar way, actually, um, it gave me more... It made me feel calmer about just trusting the process and knowing that it's OK not to know everything straight away. Because of, the, yeah, the nature of the way we were working, I always knew that I, I, I kind of wouldn't really have a feel for what it was going to be like until this time, you know, even as we were, the, the, it, it, it was kind of so all encompassing, the, the, the atmosphere of work, you know, it was so focused on creating, creating, you know, character relationship and something that we were kind of creating in the moment on, not on the hoof, but like, yeah, in the room, that there wasn't really that much time then to have an outside eye or or too much of a, an analytical eye on, oh, I wonder what this shot's going to be like. Mm. Oh, I wonder, uh, oh, it's weird that he's lighting it like that, whatever. Like, that, I, I kind of knew that. And at the time, you know, I kind of like, allowed myself to just like, you know, absent myself from thinking about that. But that also meant it was all the more satisfying when I finally got the opportunity to see the movie and, and just like, yeah, see the scope and the grandeur and the beauty and yeah, the, the truth and simplicity of it. I'm sorry. I can't hear you say that again. I wish you a completely different person. The urge to drink can come out of nowhere. You think you're doing well. Suddenly you want nothing more than a drink. So, so given the subject matter, the fact that you're in every scene, it's your first film as a producer and the, the pretty rough weather that you had to deal with. Was this the toughest film that you've made? No, <laughs> it wasn't. <laughs> There's other movies that I've done that have um, psychologically been more difficult to get through than this. I think actually because so much of it was built around me and I was able to shape it, not that I ever wanted anything to be easy, but in terms of the process of making it, I could kind of, we could build it in the way that would serve myself and the other actors best. Um, I think it's very stressful developing an independent film because you don't know if it's going to get made, you don't know where the money's going to come from, and then you don't know if anyone if it's going to go to festivals, and then you don't know if anyone's going to buy it, and then when they buy it, you don't know if anyone's going to see it, and then you don't know what kind of a life it's going to have, and I think you're more invested in it in that way. So that took more of my brain power, but I was kind of relieved for that to be the case because I've only acted for so long that I was ready to take on more responsibility. How does London compare to Poppy? A bit more going on, I guess. So how long do you think you'll stay here for? I have a life that I have to get back to. I'm scared. I miss it. I miss how good it made me feel. What has surprised you both about people's reactions to the film? Has there been something where you went, well, I wasn't expecting to hear that back? I mean, we had a journalist who came in a while ago who highlighted a really interesting aspect of the movie, which is about young carers and how actually we see Rona, who is, you know, in her late 20s, early 30s, and she 
uh, is taking care of her depressed father. And in flashback, we see her do the same. And so we see the effect that that has on her own mental health and how she views the world. And that was something that actually... We, we knew it was in there for a reason and that was part of Amy Liptroth's story but I hadn't really given it as much thought as I should have done before. So that was quite interesting to hear. I'm, I'm always just more like curious as to what people's responses are. And I, like, I, I, I think I'm always, um, I'm always galvanised by people seeing it as more than just, you know, an addiction drama, whatever that means. But like, I think we all, we all have certain associations with that. And I think this movie isn't that. I think it's so much more than that. And, and whilst that, that is like a, a thread that runs through the centre of the movie, I think, um, yeah, it, it, hearing, hearing that journalist talk about that perspective really fascinating to me. Someone else was talking about it being about grief, you know, and grief in the sense of like losing, you know, losing a relationship or losing, um, you know, a, 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 a family relationship in the way that you know it, you know, or using a relationship to um, a city or a country, you know, or, or to your past self. Um, mm -hmm. Um, so I think there are a million different readings of, of the movie and I'm really curious and excited as to what people will take. Great job by you both. Thank you. Thank you. So how long have you been sober? 63 days. It never gets easy, just gets less hard. My body is a continent. My breath pushes the clouds across the sky and the waves roll into the shore in time with my beating heart.